Okay, so we'll take a look at this model. If we see, these are prepared for occlusal onlays. So <clears throat> we're just going to take a sharp knife and we're going to take these tips off. But only the tips. Uh, we will make them fairly flat so that this will give us enough room to make our little cones so that we can aim the cusp tips right where they need to be. If we do this to both sides, we should have a minimum of three millimeters between the preparations. Just be careful not to break the teeth, so do it kind of slow. If you want even more control, you can wet the model slightly so that you can get a cleaner surface. So now, if we look at the models, we should have plenty of space on both sides. Here we could take off a little bit more. Always check. A little bit more right over there. So after you're done, just make sure you bring it up and uh, I'll check them out for you. See if uh, we took away enough of the uh, occlusal surface. That's one side. And that's the other side. <clears throat> so one side, we're going to do tooth to tooth occlusion or the way I like to call it is uh, 
cusp to fossa occlusion because each cusp is going to go into the opposing fossa like mesial fossa here, mesial fossa there and then there's a mesial fossa, central fossa, distal fossa so that's what we're going to be concerned ourselves with right now uh, the other side the right side will be tooth to two teeth occlusion so we're going to have those teeth occlude with the marginal ridges or the embrasures so it's going to be tooth to two teeth or cusp to marginal ridge occlusion or cusps to, em cusps to embrasure occlusion.